My name is Gretchen Good, and I'm an American living and working in New Zealand. On World Speech Day, my brief talk is entitled, The World Could Be a Better Place If We Listened to Those Who Do Not Speak. I'm a talker. I have a degree in communications, I used to have a radio show, and I lecture for a living. And here I am in front of you today. Ask my husband, my family, and friends, I like to talk. In light of that, it's a bit ironic that seven years ago, through adoption, I became mom to Leo, now a seven-year-old boy who lives with Down syndrome, blindness, and Leo is nonverbal. Leo has a sister, Tiffany, who is four years old. Tiffany also has Down syndrome. And like me, Tiffany likes to talk. But she doesn't have a lot of words. She does, however, give long lectures, which occasionally include an identifiable word. Despite the many hours and many dollars we have invested in private speech therapy, low-tech and high-tech augmentative communication tools, and countless hours of learning and practicing New Zealand Sign Language, the kids don't say much. My children's inability to communicate through speech is my issue. It doesn't seem to worry them. That's because they do communicate without speech if we pay attention. When I watch Leo, I know what he wants to do next. I know his favorite color. I know what he wants to eat. And I know he wants to play on the iPad more than he wants to eat his dinner or do his homework or go to bed. I know when he's unhappy and when he is so completely proud of himself for completing that 100 piece puzzle all by himself. His victory arm to the air is one of his more superb messages. If you watch him, you too can learn what he has to say. Tiffany is a physical tornado, a whirlwind. She lets us know when she's bored with us, that she is done with her dinner, that she's not keen on bedtime, or she wants to climb or wants to explore the wider neighborhood. She communicates this to the point of parental exhaustion, and she does it all with the most mischievous glee. Tiffany will start school in a few weeks, she will keep them on their toes, and she's going to spread her exuberance. And I pray that they will pay attention to what she has to say, even if she isn't saying it. This is my appeal to you who will encounter disabled children and disabled adults in your day-to-day -day life. And you will, because at least 20% of us in New Zealand identify as being disabled and at least 5% of all children live with speech or language disorders. Don't be afraid. There might be a bit of discomfort, but that child or adult who cannot speak to you has a lot to say. They will tell you, just listen closely. To quote St. Benedict, we are invited to listen with the ears of our hearts. And as it says in right number 13, of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, allow us to tell you what we are thinking or feeling, whether our voices are big or small, whether we whisper or shout it, or paint, draw, mime, or sign it, listen to us and hear what we say. Thank you.